What's up everybody at Nimbus? Welcome back to another part of the Legend of Zelda Skyward Sword walkthrough. I'm your host Silver Sleet, and I am not alone this time, for I am joined by... Hello everyone at Nimbus, it's me, Cuddle of Death, and I am on this awesome episode of Skyward Sword, and we're in this freaking dungeon. Yes, we are fine. in the Skyview Temple. Temple, fine. Not a dungeon. Yeah, okay. it's actually the temple. We got lost. That's not. That good. is not. Yeah, that's that usually means something. Yep. Something is not good behind this door. What the heck is that? What is this? Uh, whoa, it's aggressive. It's got three heads. Okay, I hit it too. Oh, I think I get to deal with this one. Yeah. If you hit one, they will pretty much respawn. If you hit two, they will respawn. You have to hit them all at once. There we go. Oh, that was nice. That was really easy. That was not even that difficult. Yep. Wow. Can you just imagine how this would be just like it too all the time? That would be so yep. freaking frustrating. This dungeon is absolutely beautiful. Like seriously, I'm not even kidding. It's incredible. Yep, this dungeon is really well made. Like the whole art style of Skyward Sword, I like it. You okay. know what? I actually, and people might not like me for this, at first I was like, I didn't really like it because it's like a mix of like Wind Waker and Twilight Princess. That's how I felt about it. Not that Wind Waker was a bad game because a lot of people love that game. But I wasn't a fan of the art style, that's just me, you know, that's my opinion. But uh -huh. I, after seeing Skyward Sword for a little bit, I've actually really warmed up to this art style and I love it now. Yep. It just took a little bit. It's not something that I'm used to. Yeah, like, this is a unique style of the mm -hmm. game. Like, I believe Miyamoto himself told you, told us all that this game is different. Yeah, ooh. Ooh, I almost fell there. That's so funny that we own that big sculpture with a beetle, a little beetle. Yeah, you just, like... Throw a beetle at him. Like, let's just launch this beetle and hit this. There we go. Wow. Now, aren't there like. Hmm. Where does this, this lead to? Let's see. Oh, I, I don't know. But shouldn't you look around? Oh, never mind. That's like a route to get back, yeah. isn't it? Yep. Okay. That's where we came from, so this is not important. Okay. Oh, what are those green things up there? Do you see them? Oh, yeah, I, I need my sleeve shot for those. Yeah, I was like, gonna say, it looks like something you would need your slingshot for. Yep. Nope. Or something. I'm sure that we could go and use it down here in the first place. Oh, you've only got four seeds. Nope, that's a miss. That is a hit. Okay. Um, oh, you, we can probably get that one somewhere else, can't we? Yeah, that's probably an easier way to land that one. Okay, so let's... Oh, balance. Oh. Don't want to oh fall my gosh. That is a deep fall. Oh, holy crap. If you're scared of heights, I wonder how people are gonna feel about this game. Because you know some people... Yep get really serious about their games and they can't stand like stuff okay, no. like heights. Oh. Miss. And there he goes. Aww. That's so funny. Oh, huh. That's pretty sad actually. But yeah. What is this? Hmm? What is this right ahead of us? It looks what like the door? boss door with the weird What is shape in it, but it's yeah. tight. And it looks like an H. Yeah, it's like formed like an H and there's <gasps> a chest there. It's gonna be a rupee. Yep. It's funny rupees. <laughs> and my wallet is filled already to the max. I already need a bigger wallet, like, wow. Are you serious? Mm -hmm. There's a place to save, that's good. That's right outside of the boss, if yeah. you need it. That's what I noticed about Skyward Sword, there are like a ton of places to save this game. Oh, what? Where did you come oh. from? Random, random enemy. Yeah, and he's randomly going to not survive this. Yeah, I like that. Dude, he's like hindering us. Can't you see we're making a video here? Come on, work with me, people. I don't think you can see that, but like... <laughs> he's a star. Okay. There he goes. There we go. Good, yeah. Oh, wow. He gave us the best prize of all. Yeah, one rupee. Like, we already, like, have so little rupees. Like, we are in desperate need of money. By far, so let's chop this. Oh. Oh god, don't miss. That's all I have to say is don't miss. Yep, I agree! Ooh, <laughs> Ooh holy crap. That, that was just... not even. You know, not that, was good. that was risky. Woo. What are You're scaring me. You are. Sc oh, five rupees. You gotta jump down to get that one, right? I mean, because yep. it definitely is safe. Yeah, that's definitely safe. Going down How there. How bad do you want those? <laughs> yeah, like, oh my god, I need those. I need more monies. And if you miss this, I'm gonna make fun of you, and everyone else will make fun of you too. But I'm not gonna miss that, because that Good. is just too easy to have to Now, lie. if you fall, people will make fun of you. Yeah, people are gonna make a lot of fun of me. Including me, I'll make the most fun of you. Yep. Actually, people will probably make the most fun of you. Yep. Yeah. Ooh. 
That was scary. Uh -huh. No, just for safety reasons, just one, and there. There we go. There's actually a different kind of chest, look at this. It's a white chest. But it's a boss key, or whatever. Yeah, and then it, it fits into that hole, or H, yep. I think. The golden carving, the strangely shaped gold sculptures covered in mysterious patterns. Hmm. I wonder where that fits in. I just said it. I already spoiled it, because I... We saw it, like, three seconds ago. Yep. We saw it, like, in earlier in this video. Like, wouldn't it be kind of funny, though, if it wasn't a boss? It'd be like... Yeah, it's just Zelda. some sort of random room. It'd be like, game over, you know. Thanks for saving me. Yeah, and Zelda would be like, like, yeah. Like, this is the game credits. One of the most anticipated Wii titles, and there's the game credits. See ya. <laughs> yeah, that would be like, no. So, are you ready to enter this door? No, I'm not. Well, I let's am. Let's go. So let's just go. Okay, now... H in this... Whoa, what the heck? Oh, I got it. They gotta put... That's so cool. I like that. That is really nice, even though... Um... Hello? <laughs> you know what it reminds me of? It reminds me of those little Lego puzzles. Or, no, those one little puzzles that you play with as a kid, and they have, like, the blocks in them, and you're trying to fit, like, a another square and, like, a bigger square. Yep. And, oh, that's what it reminds me of. Uh-huh. If anyone knows what I'm talking about, I don't even know what they're called, but it's just, like, those little things that you play with as a kid. Yep, I know what you're talking about, but I don't know the name about them. Some kind of blocks, and they fit into different blocks and stuff. It's really cool, though. Yep. So we are entering this boss door. Ooh. And, and it's oh, Zelda, that's right? bright light. That's probably Zelda. Then. Who is that? Is that Edward Cullen? Well, he has a blade, and it's like a vampire. Well, it's, yeah, it looks like it. But he's like, it's like dematerializing his blade. Look who it is. I know who it is. Oh, your face. oh my God! I thought the Never tornado is stirred up would have tossed and torn you apart. Yet here you are, not in pieces. Did he cause that tornado? Wow. That's... hmm, dangerous. Not that you're alive or that was any consequence. <laughs> okay. It's just a girl that matters now, and I can sense her here. Just beyond this door. Yes, we plucked her majesty from her perch in the clouds, and now she's ours. Hmm. Oh, but listen to me. I'm being positively uncivil. Allow me to introduce myself. While well, at least he has manners for a villain. I am the demon lord who presides over this land you look down upon. This world you call the surface. You only call me Gyrahim. You said he has manners, but he's not looking you in the eyes, so no he doesn't. Nope. And true. I very much prefer to be indulged with my full title, Lord Gyrahim. But I'm not Ooh. fussy. Okay. So I'm like, okay, bring it. We're mad. We are so <laughs> mad that his makeup's better than ours. So he drew a play. Did you really just draw your sword? Foolish boy. He's gonna screw you around on me, isn't he? Oh god. By all <laughs> rights, the girl should have fallen into our hands already. She was nearly ours when the loathsome servant of the goddess snatched her away. Do you have any idea how that made me feel inside? Emo. Pretty much. Furious! Outraged! Sick with anger and he just disappeared. I don't like that. Where did he I go? like that. Maybe he's not gonna come back. This turn of events is lovely. A strong appetite for bloodshed. See, so he is a vampire. Yeah. Oh boy, too close. Too close. Still, Whoa. it hardly seems fair being in my position to take all my anger out on you. Which is why I promised up front not to murder you. I don't trust him. No, I'll just beat you with an inch of your life. <laughs> ah, keep your tongue inside of your mouth. That's gross. <laughs> Before we cut it off. Yeah, I know, right? <laughs> okay, he's laughing like a maniac. I don't like that. <laughs> Whoa. And what is he doing? Escape. His clothes are coming off. Yeah. Oh, boy. God, keep the rest of them on. Holy crap. Yeah, I know, right? Demon Lord. Gyrahim, our first actual <laughs> temple boss. And... Get him. He's going to just toy around with me for a little while. I mean, he's gotta be easy because he's the first temple boss, right? I mean, just I would say so. Yeah. Well, as far as I am seeing right now, like, look, he is—he's not doing anything actually. Yeah, but maybe yeah. he's just there. Probably really easy boss. Like, oh wow, he can grab my Whoa. blades. He can grab my blades. That's not good. I know what he's gonna oh. do. He's toying around right now. Yeah. He is so toying around right now. Oh my gosh. Give Don't me let him have your blade, yeah. Yeah, I know, right? Oh, you worked see. for that. Oh boy. You had to pull that thing out of the I quite the sword you have here. But so long as you telegraph your attacks like a novice, you're already a novel on the ball. 
Use your shield, maybe. I don't know. <laughs> okay, let's pretty much avoid my own sword and pick it up again. That's better. So he basically, he is really toying around with me and I don't like that. This guy's got style though. Yeah, I gotta agree. He is a nice little boss for this dungeon, I must say. Yeah, he's got lots of moves. Show me your moves. Yeah, but the, you know what the ironic part is? He's just not even, he's not even trying. I wonder why. Maybe... He's, he's goofing around with me, there's no other way he is not. Let, let my blade go. Are you serious? <sighs> yeah. Just to like annoy you, it looks like. Yeah, he's just like playing a mind game with me. By the way, you're using your um, Emotion Plus. How do you think people that play this game will enjoy it? They because will. I know a lot of the games don't have Wii Motion Plus. I mean, well, some of them do now, but a lot of the older games. Yeah, like, this is really accurate right now. Like, I really like this. Wii Motion Plus. Like, even though Wiimote Plus has been out for a while, like, Skyward actually requires it, so if you don't have Wiimote Plus, don't even bother about getting this game, since you can't even play it. Of course, if you get the, um, special edition, then you get the Wiimote Plus, right? Yep. The little Wiimote, yep. Yeah. Which is good. But, like, does it make your arm tired at all if you've played it for a while? Well, if you- you gotta s shake your Wiimote all the time within this boss, then yes, it does get- Get me my blade back! Wow, he's- He's not letting go of my blade. He is actually just <laughs> throwing it around. Oh boy. Oh my god, it's so crap. Oh. Oh, he actually took it. Hit at you. Yeah, like, ah, uh, I don't like that. Okay. He's wearing, like, tights. Yeah, but... He's like, <laughs> spandex tights. <laughs> Man, like, ah, uh, I guess I gotta... Come on, let my let my blade go. Like I swear, you are not going to take my blade again, are you? Yeah, yes. <laughs> Damage your shield too. It's losing durability fast. Yeah. I, oh wow, I know this. This guy is not very nice at all. Yeah, he would not murder me. Yet he is still tossing my blade. Okay, let me get my blade. Oh god. Oh my god. Maybe I should just trust him. If that works. No, doesn't work. Oh god, not this again. Why does he have to be taller? He's got an advantage. <laughs> yeah, he definitely does. Like, he's wearing less armor than you. Well, you're not really wearing too much either. You've got a shield, but you've got like a tunic on and he's wearing tights. Mm -hmm. <laughs> he probably is like... Practices baller uh, he practices with ballerinas and stuff. Yeah, I learned some hits on him again. Oh, that's oh. good. Uh -oh. He like... Oh, oh. that was gross. Yeah, he printed it like, okay, enough playing around, let's get serious. He's got a freaking saber. Yep. Mm. Oh, god. Okay. Oh yeah, I can counter his attack, that's amazing. That's incredible. This fighting system. Yeah, this is so amazing, this fight. I can only imagine how much fun you're having playing this right now. Oh, is that oh yeah. It yet? Yes, I love it whenever he charges at me because I can counter that charge. Where is he? Oh, no, you don't. Okay. Come at me. I don't think so, man. <sighs> I love that. Mm. Okay, let's get out of there. Oh boy, I am not going to. Here. Edward Cullen. Okay, I counter those all. I guess I'll let him hit on him. It sounds like it, please. Oh, oh. Wow. Surely he's gotta be dead soon. Yeah, like I hope so. I landed a ton of hits on him. Oh wow, he got with me. He you should have made this a three heart run blind. That would have been great. I'm just kidding. No, that would have been pure failure. <laughs> <cool. laughs> uh, there would have been so many rage quits. Yeah. Like, can you do the charge again? Charge stuck again? Oh wow. No, yep. not that. This is a charge. He's probably tired of charging it, maybe. Yeah, this boss knows my pattern right now. Okay, at least if I land some hits on me, I should be fine. Yep, plus we have a lot of parts. Ah, man. Parts. But yeah, he oh. takes off them all in one shot, you know, that's the worst part. Yeah. Like, that game will be more of a challenge, I guess. Yep. Ah, there he goes. Oh, great. Perfect. Please say, say he's done. Well, you put up more of a fight than I would have thought possible out of such a soft boy. But don't clap for yourself quite yet. That sort of yours is the only reason you still live. <laughs> I clapped. 
I fear I spent far too long teasing and toying with you. See, it was just like playing around with me. It was not even doing anything serious. Yep. The girl's presence has all but faded from this place, which means there's no reason to linger here. Goodbye, Scott Child. Run and play this time. Get in my way again, though, and you're dead. Okay. Hmm. So he doesn't like his lingering. Nope. He does not. And wow, the whole place is getting colors again. Oh, it's pretty. Yeah, it really is. Oh! Oh my god, look at that. Is that a heart container? Oh. That's what it looks like. That looks amazingly shiny for a heart container. We like shiny heart containers, though. Yes, we definitely do. We like doors that light up. So, yeah. Look at that. That is fancy. It is fancy. Oh, you fancy, huh? Yeah. Life <laughs> increased by one, and hearts are fully replenished. Look at that. We got a seventh heart. Yay! And let's just go through this door, because, yeah. Apparently, the girl's presence has faded. So we need mm. to find out what happens, don't we? Yes, we do. Okay. Flashback? No. No, where? Oh, this door is locked again. Oh god, now for the real boss. <laughs> I'm just kidding. <laughs> oh, that will be awkward. This, oh my god, look at this place. It's gorgeous. This place is so pretty. Look at it. Oh, it is. Wow, it's so colorful. Yeah, I like it. Bird? I don't know. What's that? There was something out there. Oh, wait a minute, I recognize this. It's a statue on one of those Triforce symbols. Yep, I know what to do here. It's the Skyview Spring, and what I'm gonna do here is walk up to that. Mm -hmm. Draw my blade, hold it up, charge up the Scarlet Slash, and oh, yeah. BAM! And that would, yeah, what would it do? Well, it pretty much is gonna give me something again. Or it's gonna not. give you a, a piece of that, um... What is it? Is it a relic? I forget. But it gives you- it should probably give you a piece of something, I would assume, mm -hmm. from the first few episodes. Oh, it's Fee. You can be Fee if you want. Master, I have a message written in the language of gods of old. Allow me to translate for you. Okay. From the edge of time, I guide you, the one chosen to carry out the goddess's mission. Is she ice skating? <laughs> It looks like it. The spirit maiden who descended from clouds. Oh my gosh, it's so difficult to read. Must travel to two sacred places to purify her body. It's really difficult. So Zelda has to purify her body? Really? You should. Um, you stand in one of these places. Skyview Spring. The other is known as. The Earth Spring. Earth Spring. It's so hard to read. Should I read it for you? Um. I don't know. Probably not. No. The second spring is hidden away within the scorched earth is the earth of yeah. Elden. Yes. The spirit maiden, ever mindful of the heavy task entrusted her, has set out for the second sacred place. Isn't she getting dizzy like this? <laughs> Looks like it. Yeah, it does. Oh I look, that must be the second part of the um doublet. Yeah, that's what I meant earlier by relic. Yep. What would this be? It reminds me of the stones. Oh wow, um, are you serious? I remember in the episode I actually said like emerald tablet. It would be ironic <laughs> if I got a ruby and a sapphire tablet so I can make a Pokemon for us. Well now I got the ruby tablet. Um, it probably is gonna be a sapphire, to yep. tell you the truth. Next one will probably be a sapphire, yes. What's up with me? I don't know. She's acting <clears throat> weird. She just went Boom. back in my blade. Yep. Oh. Master, as I just translated, it would appear that Zelda purified herself in the waters of the spring. I calculate a 97% chance that she has already set out for Elden where another great spring exists. However, it is not clear what method of travel Zelda used to move from here to her next destination. My analysis suggests you should take the tablet to the altar in Skyloft. Who would have thought? Yeah. <laughs> Doing so will likely open a new column of light on the surface, allowing you to descend to another area and continue your search for Zelda. Makes sense. Yep. The bird statue that transport you back, er, yeah, that transport you back to the sky should be in the forest you previously passed through. Yep, I remember that. But it's getting okay. dark. <laughs> I don't like that. I'm probably gonna have to off to the safe right here. Yeah. 
So I'm gonna save here, really quickly. Saving in progress. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> <laughs> Saved. So I'm out of here in the deep woods again. And oh, it's one of those kikwis again. Oh no. Oh, look at He's that. So cute. He's so cute. I want a doll made of this. Or plushy. Hey, it's me, Kui. Did you find a girl? No chance. Who oh, are you? That's too bad, but it sounds like a need to know where you need to search next to find her, Kui. That's something, right? I'm so glad I finally been reunited with all my Kikui friends. It's all thanks to you, Kui. With any luck, hopefully you'll find that girl you've been searching for real soon, Kuroku. Take care, okay? And he just rivals off like that. He looks like a Bulbasaur on his back. You know, like the little um, seed yeah. that they have. It's like a mixture of a penguin and a Bulbasaur. Yeah. Or at least so it seems. So yeah, that concludes this extra long episode of Legend of Zelda Skyward Sword. We finally defeated them. the first temple boss. We got a heart container. We and met Gyrim. And we saw our first vampire, Edward Cullen, which you said we just defeated. But we defeated Edward Cullen yep. in this episode. So I would like to thank all of that for joining me. Thank you for having me. Not a problem. And in the next episode, we are going to go back to Skyloft. Or we might just stop by the old skateways and give them a visit. But anyways, we are going to go back to Skyloft soon. Place the, um, what's it? Ruby tablet. I was actually yes. confused with the Emerald tablet. We already placed that. Place the mm -hmm. Ruby tablet and we shall find out our next destination soon, which is probably the Earth of Alden. Yep. So, until then, this is Silver Sleet. And Cuddle of Death. Signing out. Signing out. Bye. Bye.